Many YouTubers have reported on lithium sulfur batteries in the past, but the details have changed. The technology that we now have more information about, it's absolutely incredible. Yeah, there's been a breakthrough of a new battery invented by Australian researchers. It says that it has five times the power of lithium ion batteries. And I'm wondering, is this legit? Is this true? Well, it is, but because there's always a slight catch, this technology, it's commercially readily available, although it's still a pie in the sky fantasy situation because the technologies are ready, but they're not ready to release it and give it to us. We can increase the power of electric vehicles significantly. Mobile phones can be five times have the fold according to researchers. For example, these Apple watches and the Apple phones, imagine them only need to be charged like once a week rather than every day. This battery would definitely give an electric car more than, let's say, a thousand miles of range, and it would be relatively affordable. Boy, does that sound good. This would be a game changer for mobile phones and for gasoline engines, for diesel engines, all those all those cars, they would be finished. Australian researchers make this breakthrough in developing revolutionary lithium sulfur batteries, which I think are not that expensive, but are expensive to, or not expensive to manufacture. And they can hold up to five times the energy for half the cost of traditional lithium ion batteries. But here's the catch. We don't know exactly what they're saying the cost is. However, the team at the University in Melbourne have developed a new lithium sulfur battery for significantly boosting its durability, even though the price of lithium has come down by 40% this last couple of years, but it's still expensive and makes up the main cost of the battery pack of batteries. But if you can significantly reduce the amount of lithium needed in a battery pack, then you know and that's where the manganese addition to the battery pack comes into play, and that's what it will do, and that is how the cost of the EV battery will come down massively. Researchers say that their nanoporous coated ion foil anodes hold more energy and will be half the price of lithium ion batteries. So today's price is right around 90 US dollars for a kilowatt hour for the battery pack for it to be manufactured, mined, and all that. Now, the prices have come down. And the reality is that the battery market, it's always changing. The commodity markets, they're always going up and down, and it's always moving. So the materials to make the batteries are mostly coming down. And we're discussing this today as the price of a kilowatt hour battery in an EV is almost equivalent to that with a gasoline powered car, meaning the purchase price of a gasoline car is about equivalent to an electric vehicle. In other words, as the current lithium ion batteries are improved upon, the battery packs will go down in price, resulting in less cost of an electric vehicle. When you increase the energy density, you can have less battery weight, which results into an exponential type of improvements that can make the vehicle more appealing to buyers. So it's exponential type. These are the gains that are going to occur as a result when we start deploying different battery chemistry to make improvements. A long-standing issue with lithium sulfur batteries is, yes, the problem is, in the lithium anodes and the sulfur cathodes that they react with each other. However, this creates a tree-like structure, and they're called dendrites. And they're like little, um, it, it's the worst part of the battery, and they end up branching up like a tree from the lithium anode, and it degrades it. And the electrolyte, which is the medium, the fluid, which, which helps the ions shuttle back and forth. That reduces the power of the battery that it can deliver. And ultimately, it will die too soon. So, and to make it commercially viable is the lithium sulfur technology that we have had in the past. So sometimes with the lithium sulfur battery, we've had it only cycle about 50 charges or so, which is really not realistic in any kind of commercial applications, especially electric vehicles. The problem can also be in the making the battery short circuit and start fires, as we've seen in a number of news reports this year. So that potentially can cause flammable electrolytes to catch fire. This is the same problem that's haunted lithium ion batteries for a long time. I saw a news report recently that the FAA, the Federal Aviation Association here in the United States, they reported only one, they reported almost one lithium ion battery fire aboard an airplane every week. Did you hear that? One fire a week. 
So there's a PhD student, Declan McNamara, and he's out of an Australian university. He's found a smaller, lighter polymer coating that can significantly improve the number of times this new lithium sulfur battery can be recycled. The polymer contains tiny holes, less than a nanometer in size, one billionth of a meter, where human hair is between 80,000 and 100,000 nanometers in diameter. This will allow lithium ions to move freely while blocking other chemicals that can attack the lithium. And this is the solution to making the lithium sulfur batteries that actually work for more than 50 charge recharge cycles. The researcher said that this coating also acts like a scaffolding for the lithium, and it just allows it to charge and recharge repeatedly. Metallic lithium is a bit like a double-edged sword. It is full of energy, but in a bad battery, it is energy is wasted on reactions that don't benefit the battery use. On the other hand, if the energy is channeled correctly, you can make some incredible energy storage devices that are easy to make and are easily manufactured sulfur battery, lithium sulfur batteries, just by adding the coating. RechargeNews.com says the lithium sulfur batteries are a number of new battery technologies that are going to become dominant of the lithium EV market, and particularly, again, in electric cars. So with this battery, researchers have an opportunity that enormously increases the stability so it can be used to for at least 50 cycles or as much as 500 plus recharging cycles. The researchers, as far as I can tell, they've They've not actually outlined how many cycles the battery can do before its end. And we really need to know that information before we can all get excited about the technology because it sounds great to Stan and myself, but we need more information. And more particularly, when can I use it? When can we use it? Last for, uh, all of us at Go Green Hub want to know, and we also want to know your thoughts. So put your comments in below and let us know what you think.